Hi, I'm uh, Rob Reed. I'm also a yoga dad and I run yoga classes and workshops and retreats here in Bristol. Um, primarily these classes are for men, for cyclists and office workers. And what I like to do is actually challenge some of those preconceptions about what yoga actually is and how to practice. And so I love taking yoga out into unconventional places like this meeting room that we're in today. Um, my day job isn't actually being a yoga teacher. I'm actually the head of the program management office on the 25 year environment plan at the Department for Environment in Bristol. Now, yoga, as you can imagine, is a physical practice, so you need to listen to your body as you're working through the poses today. So if you experience any sharp pain, discomfort, um, then you, you should love to ease out of the pose. Of course, look for comfortable challenge where you can, but just listen to your body and take care of it. Um, ultimately, yoga should be looking to um, support you in prioritising your physical and mental health and well-being, so just bear that in mind. Otherwise, just really enjoy the class. It's just a short sequence, about 10 minutes or so, and we're really going to focus on some of those kind of hot spots of tension we experience in the body, um, primarily when we're seated at, uh, at a desk. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so we'll just start by grounding down through the feet. So really feeling as though from the heels all the way up towards the hips, we're grounding down through the floor, palms across the knees. Just um, rolling the shoulders away just to create some space across the chest and just lengthening along the spine to the crown of the head, almost as if reaching up towards the uh, ceiling. Okay, let's close our eyes. Just start drawing our attention inwards. And as we turn our attention inwards, just focusing on those sounds that we can hear around us. Where our body comes into contact with the chair and the ground beneath us. And just using that to inform, to enable us to be present in this moment. Now bring some attention to the physical body. Just scanning all the way down from the crown of the head towards the tips of the toes. And just tuning into any aches or tension you're experiencing in the body. How your energy levels are today. And just use that to then frame your practice. So setting an intention potentially for the class, which doesn't necessarily have to be that grand, it can be something very simple, as long as it resonates with you. So bring some attention to the breath, where that originates in the upper body, and where it arrives to. And looking at the way in which you can potentially change the length and depth of the breath, directing the breath to where it's needed, so maybe circling around the belly region, up towards the ribs, so that they're separating away from one another, and maybe even all the way up to the chest and the lower neck. And bringing some attention now to the mind, any thoughts you may be having, and just acknowledging that they're there, placing them to one side at the end of the class. Slowly opening the eyes, nice soft gaze. And so we'll now move through a movement-based sequence having finished that kind of short meditation. So let's start by moving ourselves towards the back of the chair. So we'll start with our arms alongside us and just start lifting by lifting our right sole of the foot up. So we've got our right heel kind of reaching in towards the right hip. So just find a position that feels comfortable for you. Now clasping the hands, placing them around the right shin. And just start gently applying pressure the palms against the shin to allow that right thigh just to reach in towards the upper body. Shoulders just drawing away from the ears, still with that length along the spine, crown of the head towards the ceiling. And you should be feeling a stretch along the back of the uh, right leg. And slowly taking the uh, hands away from that right shin, adjusting yourself and then doing the same on the uh, opposite side. So left leg up, left heel in towards the left hip, clasping the hands around the left shin, and then we're everything. Applying pressure across the left shin, and now feeling that stretch on the back of the left leg. And clasping the hands away from the left leg, and now taking ourselves more towards the front of the chair, and just extending our right leg out with our left knee bent. We're placing our palm across the left knee, now lifting our right arm up and overhead on an inhale. 
exhaling to fold forward, but maintaining that length along the spine. So just allowing the palm just to fall down to where it feels comfortable on the leg. So if it feels at all like, as you lower down this far, it's just rounding the spine, placing some pressure along the length of the spine, and just lifting yourself back up again, just to maintain that space. If it feels comfortable, feel free just to roll that right heel away and under. So you draw the toes, the right toes, in towards that right shin. And then just gently lower it down. You're feeling that stretch now along the back of the right leg. But if it feels too strong at all in terms of the sensation, then just a subtle bend in that right knee, just to ease that up a bit. Just slowly walking the right hand back up. And let's do the same on the opposite side. The left leg out, the left arm up and overhead. Exhale as we fold forward. Again, lifting the gaze up, just maintaining that space across the chest. We're almost feeling as though we're directing the breath in towards that space that's created along the back of the left leg. Holding this for about 30 seconds or so. When we're sitting at desks all day, we often find we've got very tight hamstrings. This is a great way of just lengthening along the, uh, the back of the legs. All the way from the hips to the heels. Slowly lifting the upper body back up again. And now we'll still keep towards the front of the chair. We'll cross the right ankle over the left thigh. We put our hands around the foot and the knee. And we lengthen along the spine. So crown of the head reaching up again. Now we can either stay in this position if that feels sufficiently strong in terms of the stretch along the back of the right leg. Otherwise, slowly lower the upper body forward. Not compromising that space across the chest. Length along the spine. Just going as far as that stretch feels sufficiently strong. And gently lifting yourself back up again and crossing the legs and then doing the same on the opposite side. So again, finding a comfortable position for that left ankle, lengthening, space across the chest, and exhaling to fold forward. And feeling that stretch now along the back of the left leg. Lifting the uh, head back up again, placing the feet alongside one another. Let's just take ourselves back in the chair once more. Now we cross our right leg across the left, and then we um, lift our left arm up and overhead on an inhale, exhaling, bringing that across the right thigh, and just rotating now around towards the right hand side. Either with the head in a neutral position, same direction of the chest, or over the back shoulder. All of the time, inhaling to lengthen along the spine and exhaling to rotate millimetre by millimetre behind. Inhaling back to centre again, arms up overhead, hands back onto either side of the chair, and then we cross our legs to the left on top of the right. Lift our right arm up and overhead on an inhale, exhaling as we rotate around towards the left hand side. Back hand around the back of the chair. Again, this lateral movement for the spine is often much needed when we're seated in a fixed position for most of the day. But also, a twist is great for improving digestion, removing toxins from the body. And then inhaling back to centre. Hands back by the side and crossing the legs. Bring yourself back to the front of the chair, feeling grounded down through the feet again. Palms across the knees, crown of the head lifting up, close the eyes. Bringing that attention back into the physical space. With sounds and where the body comes into contact again with the chair, ground beneath you. Attention back to the physical sensations in the body. Mental scan all the way down from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes. And just checking in with how those aches or tensions now feel compared to the start of class. Attention back to the breath. Slow, steady rhythm. Calm and effect on the mind. 
Nice soft gaze opening the eyes. Hands into the center. Thank you for joining me for this short bite-sized desk yoga sequence today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.